guys and welcome back to face over matter it is your girl jay here and in today's video i'm super excited we got some new products that we are using i took a trip on down to ulta lane all right so i've already used my rose water and my aloe vera but i'm gonna go ahead and put in put on my vitamin e oil this is just the oil that i use with my everyday skin routine all right, so real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin using the Koki Get Ready Makeup Setting Spray. Some things just never change. Because I was like, y'all should have seen me in Ulta. I had a whole basket full of stuff and I was getting ready to spend maybe a good $400 in Ulta. But I said, you know what, Jalen, let me be wise. Because at the end of the day, I still have to eat. And okay, and I, you know what I'm saying? Bills are good, but I'm just saying like, I still have to eat and stuff and it's like, just for a video, let me chill. So I put some stuff back that I really didn't care to have. I just wanted to get it and just try it. But And I wanted to try out the new foundation that people have been raving about. This was the collaboration with NYX Cosmetics and Alyssa Ashley. So I'm super late, but whatever. Um, but this is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation, the 24 hour matte finish foundation. Now, of course you see I have two shades. I believe that me and Alyssa Ashley are, I think she's a little bit more golden than me. I don't know, but her shade I think was Warm Honey. So I picked up the shade that she wears, but then I also got another one in the shade Caramel and they look a little different. The undertones are definitely different. I wanna try them both just to see. Um, I think I'm gonna end up being the Caramel one. Now I am gonna swatch the both of them just to see the color payoff. This is Caramel. This is the one that I think is gonna be my shade. That looks pretty. Ooh, Warm Honey looks good. Okay, um, hmm. All right, I also picked up a little e.l.f. brush. This was about 10 bucks from Ulta, but I really loved how it was shaped, and I'm really into brushes when buffing in my foundation, so I had to get it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Caramel, Caramel. Now, all right, while I'm doing this, it does say 24 hours matte finish, okay. 24 hours matte finish. I'm definitely seeing the matte come into play already. I'm trying to see if we got any coverage. Ooh, okay. Caramel looks good, but it looks way too yellow. I'm gonna do warm honey on the other side, but I'm gonna take a sponge. Ooh, y'all see that coverage though. Okay, I think warm honey is definitely my color. <laughs> you know, sometimes you'd be afraid to go too dark with the foundation because you don't want it to be just like, you know, sometimes if you go a little bit lighter, you can make it work. Or if a little bit darker, you can make it work. Warm Honey definitely looks so much better. Okay, we're gonna do, um, so I'm Warm Honey, okay? So we're wiping off the other one and we're just gonna use, we're just gonna use Warm Honey all over. But honestly, like it looks darker in the pan. Like it looks a lot darker in the bottle. Oh yeah, this looks good. What do you guys think? The coverage is there. It's definitely mattifying off the jump. It's not making me look oily or glossy or satiny or any of that. It's literally giving me matte, like as I'm applying it. Maybe sometimes in the winter time, I might not be looking for something as mattifying just because of the cold weather and I'm pretty much gonna stay much oil free for the most part. And clearly we're going full coverage because I'm continuously adding layers, so. <laughs> I mean, it's, did it say 24 hours or 12? This says 24 hours. All I can say is I'm definitely matte and I'm definitely covered. So this is a super duper plus in my book. I really like it. I think it looks really good on the skin. Um, real quick, I didn't get a new concealer, so I'm just gonna go in with my NARS. Let me tell you guys, I probably was in Ulta a whole hour and some change, just scanning through every aisle, just trying to see what's new, you know, what the drugstore had new. This is the only thing I really seen that was new from the drugstore. I have been trying to use a beauty blender again, guys, just because, just trying to see what I've been missing out on. I don't think I'm missing out on anything because I really like using my brush. Only thing about really mattifying foundations is that sometimes trying to blend in concealer and stuff can be a little bit of a headache because everything is not kind of melting together. And like I said, this being a mattifying foundation, of course, it's, you know, it's already drying down. So it's like everything that it touches. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Revolution. Revolution is a makeup line. Um, more, I guess, on the inexpensive side. It's not super expensive. 
but they had some setting powder. They have the Revolution Makeup, Makeup Revolution London Luxury Baking Powder. So it looks like this. They have a darker one. They have like a translucent one. They have this color. And then they have like a darker one that's more of like a banana powder, but it's kind of darker than the banana powder. Set the under eyes. Ooh, you guys, I am feeling so dry on my face. My face feels so dry. <laughs> Y'all, my face feels so dry. Oh my God. I don't think I'm gonna wear this 24 hours. I'm gonna wear this for a few hours and just see how it does as far as keeping me matte. But y'all, my face feels so dry. All right guys, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check back in later, but this is very, 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 very matte. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my face how it is. I'm gonna go ahead and go throughout um, some of my day and I'm gonna go ahead and start on my hair video. And I'm gonna let this foundation sit and we're just gonna see how it does. It's 1.18 right now, so I'll check back in around three-ish and just see. All right guys, I'll check back in with you in a little while. So it is now three o'clock on the dot. I put the foundation on a little bit before 1.18. I think that's what my time frame was during the first part of the video, but it is three o'clock and this is what we're looking like. It's looking very, very beautiful. I have no, well, I ain't gonna say no complaints. I do have one complaint, but it looks so good. This is natural lighting that I'm right in front of my window. This is natural lighting. I'm not looking oily or anything. Granted, I haven't had it on that long, but it's looking good so far. Only thing I can say, the way my face feels right now, my face feels incredibly dry. Like, it's the point where, like, it's kind of itchy dry. Okay, so I'm actually on my way to church right now, guys. So it's about 5... Did I say 5.30? It is about five, almost 5.30. Um, I'm actually headed to church and which is a which is a cool thing because we really get to see how the foundation will hold up in a hot atmosphere like a church you know hooping hollering sweating shouting all of that um so we're gonna see how the foundation holds up during church service i hope you guys can hear me i'm on a rough road right now um but yeah so hopefully the foundation will hold up but as of right now around my mouth it's not feeling as dry or crackly one thing i can say even though the foundation was feeling super dry it was not cracking breaking apart or anything like this is the foundation like no filters i'm recording on my iphone so there's no filters there's no nothing this is what it is and it looks good i'm not super oiled i can tell my oil levels are coming through but not to the point where i'm looking like a grease pan it's actually being controlled and i think of course that's because of the foundation guys it is currently 12 28 so i've had this makeup on since like one o'clock and i was able to make it through church without dabbing my face overall i can definitely see that the sweating or well, the oil is coming up right in this area a lot harder than this one for some reason so i've had this foundation on for about a good solid 11 hours i'm not gonna even say 12 yet but i will say a good solid 11 hours and this is as much oil as we got like this is incredible i know you guys are probably looking at me like well your face is oily but i had this foundation on since like one o'clock today okay i do have a little bit of like creasing right in here and like I said, like my under eyes are like straight up dry, but it's like right in this little area. You can tell that my face has gotten like a little oily, but this foundation held up beautifully all day long. This is my new go-to. I love it. I love it. I'm so ready to take this makeup off, but I hope this gave you some insight. If you were interested in buying the NYX Can't Stop or Won't Stop foundation. And also if you guys do not know this was in collaboration with Alyssa Ashley. She helped them extend their um, foundation line. I'm not even sure of the full details of how much, um, of how many shades they had before, and I still don't know how many they have now. But all I know is that she was part of the collaboration of extending the foundation range, and I'm pretty sure her, I'm pretty sure her color, um, the 
Warm Honey is what was part of the extension as well. The foundations do look a little bit darker in the bottle than they do actually on your skin. Because when I first seen this, like my instinct was like still get it because I know a lot of foundations, I'm, I'm a watcher of Alyssa Ashley and I like a lot of her foundations that she used, I end up having the same color. So I figured we would be the same shade. But when I first seen it, I was like, this looks a little bit dark, but until I swatched it and put it on, it matched perfectly. And again, I did get the caramel shade as well, but caramel is way too yellow. But this one, Warm Honey, is my perfect shade. The only, only bad thing I could say about it is that even though it is mattifying, which is good, it was almost too mattifying to the point where my face felt super dry. Now, I will encourage you to use something moisturizing underneath and also if you're gonna if you're gonna bake i would avoid baking if you like i wouldn't bake and just pack it on i would maybe do like a light flow of powder just to kind of you know seal your concealer or something like that but i would not recommend you bake and let it sit because you're really going to feel super dry because even for me if you watched from earlier i didn't even bake like that like i just tapped it a little bit the payoff was good the color's good the coverage is good and the um, longevity is definitely there 24 hours I don't know but 12 yeah we can get 12 out of it but anyway I'm gonna ramble on I'm ready to go to sleep it's almost one o'clock in the morning I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching so as always if you're new I'm Jay and if you're not new I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel I love each and every one of you to know in and until next time of course God willing I will definitely see you all in my next video